The grammar is something that we do care about, but it's not something that should be upfront. Hi, Steve Kaufman here. Today I want to talk about the uh, fifth of my uh, hierarchy of goals, and, uh, and that's grammar. Um, some people may think that, or at least in, in traditional language instruction, grammar was the first goal, get it right. Um, but before I go any further, remember if you enjoy these videos, um, please subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. And um, if you follow me on a podcast service, uh, please leave a comment, we do appreciate it. So I mean, typically we're used to the idea that language instruction involves grammar. It involves the teacher explaining grammar rules, which are introduced one at a time, according to some, you know, order that someone decided we begin like with the present tense and not the past tense. No real reason. Uh, typically in Arabic, they begin with the past tense and then move to the present tense. Um, so there seems to be this order in which grammar concepts are introduced and then we're tested on them or we do exercises on them. And, and the sort of the, the core element in language instruction seems to be grammar. Everything is built around grammar. Uh, typically in these textbooks, there will be, um, you know, content items, items of content uh, to introduce new vocabulary. But together with that, inevitably, there is a concept of grammar that is introduced. To me, grammar or speaking correctly or correct usage as a goal is way down the list. All right. You by now will know that I consider uh, acquiring words as the first goal, getting a lot of words. Uh, getting to where I can start reading in the language is the second goal. The third goal is listening. And of course the, the reading helps you with the listening because if I just hear it, I don't necessarily know what I'm listening to. Uh, and then I get to speaking because now I've been listening to so much of the language and I have words, I feel that I'm ready to speak. And so it's only when I start speaking that my inaccuracy in the language becomes a problem because as long as I'm input based, I'm listening, I'm reading, I'm acquiring words, I can actually understand fairly well what's happening. I have some concepts of the grammar, but because I'm not producing much of the language, I'm not making mistakes. So it's a happy situation. I'm enjoying the language, no pressure, no mistakes. Now, once I start speaking, then of course, we all would like to speak more correctly, more the, the usage patterns. We want to imitate the usage patterns of the native speaker to some extent. If we put a lot of effort into our listening and reading and we have lots of words, we will have a, a begin to have a feel for how the language works. But, and we will notice certain patterns and we will notice that, for example, the verb comes at the end. For example, we don't have to be told that that becomes pretty obvious pretty quickly. Although if we're told that up front, there's nothing wrong with that either. But so much of, of what is in grammar, at least, in the initial stages, in my approach is just to be kind of vaguely aware that these things is, exist in the language without necessarily expecting to remember anything. But comes a point now where I'm speaking and I always make a struggle to get my thoughts out and I'm not quite sure how that structure works. Even though I've seen it, I'm not able to produce it. And so now we really have to focus in on, on producing the language correctly. And so, but the advantage is if we start focusing in on grammar after having put enough effort into the input, we now have some idea of what the grammar explanations refer to because we've already experienced much of it. And so we look at the grammar rule, we still can't apply it, but I think that f studying grammar after a significant exposure to the language helps us grasp these grammar rules. And even if we forget them and we look at them again and we look at them again and we look it up again, slowly our ability to use the grammar correctly improves. And I don't think it's necessary to be tested on them. I think it's enough to review the grammar rules, try to notice them when we're listening and reading. And I've always found that in time, if I have enough words, I'll be able to start speaking. So the grammar is something that we do care about, but it's not something that should be upfront. And because I'm very much focused on input based learning, I, I would like to see more grammar books where 
concepts of grammar are introduced in the target language, in Spanish and Japanese and Chinese, and that there is accompanying audio for that lesson so that I can go away and I can listen to a discussion of the subjunctive in Spanish with a lot of examples and I can listen to it and I can read it so that it becomes a lesson like any other lesson and I'm learning the grammar rules but in the target language. I'm not sure if resources like that exist. Uh, I've often, I haven't had that so what I've relied upon is grammar resources that I can find on the internet, I can download a PDF of Romanian grammar, I can look up specifics of, you know, Ukrainian noun declensions or anything really that you need to look up, uh, you can look it up. And uh, certainly with verbs, uh, at link we have conjugating dictionaries in many cases, so as you look up a form of the verb it'll tell you which form it is and it'll show you the other uh, you know, conjugations of that verb. So there's so many resources around that help us treat grammar as something that we refer to rather than something that has to be deliberately learnt and certainly not deliberately learnt up front. So, uh, and with that I, I find over time my accuracy gets better and but there will always be mistakes and in many cases I'll make the same mistake week after week, month after month and eventually these mistakes do correct themselves. So grammar therefore or correct usage is for me uh, in my hierarchy of goals number five. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five. Okay, thank you for listening. Bye for now.